Follow up to a Target 12 Investigators exclusive. How can you forget this hidden camera video? Beat the clock. A custodial supervisor caught on camera opening and altering a time clock and punching several time cards. Tonight, major developments in this Target 12 investigation. We've learned the fate of the supervisor and wait until you hear why he claims he changed the time clock. Target 12 investigator Tim White has the exclusive details from Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. It was one year ago this month, Target 12 brought you the hidden camera video shot inside the Western Hills Middle School here in Cranston. After months of administrative hearings and an arbitration process, the decision is in. The supervisor at the center of that video is out of a job. In the Target 12 investigation beat the clock, a hidden camera is rolling, looking down at a time clock at the custodial office of the Western Hills Middle School. I'm going to bang these out. School officials identify this man as Neil Emmett, a custodial foreman in charge of a seven-man crew. After Emmett removes the shell of the clock, which should be locked, he cranks the clock ahead from roughly 8.35 to about 11 o'clock. He then punches four time cards. Target 12 is learned on Thursday. An arbitrator ruled against Emmett, ending his year-long battle with the school department to keep his job. According to the arbitrator, he committed a capital offense in the workplace. Superintendent Peter Nero tells Target 12, during the arbitration hearings, Emmett claimed he was punching the time cards because they had to wax the floors before they left at the end of the shift. His excuse was he did it so then he could wax down yeah. the hallway? Wax down the hallway. And he wouldn't be able to get access to the time. Yep, to the time cards. I mean, it's it's a a frivolous excuse. Nero says they were unable to figure out whose time cards Emmett had in his hands, but they did determine the video was shot sometime in 2008, about a year before Target 12 received it anonymously in the mail. What still remains a mystery, however. We still like to know who took the video. Nero said Emmett has the option to fight the arbitrator's ruling in Superior Court, no but he would do so on his own dime without union support. And in this difficult economic time, this could have happened when times are good, you know? The fact of the matter is you're in a position of responsibility and you're punching time clocks in, and you're telling me you did it because you're waxing your way out of the building. We're not that stupid, you know? And, and again, uh, you know, it's, it's totally unacceptable. The union representing Mr. Emmett has not returned our calls for comment. The school department spent $6,000 on the arbitration process, and the superintendent says Mr. Emmett also lost his fight to gain unemployment benefits from the state. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. To watch the original investigation beat the clock and watch the hidden camera video for yourself, just log on to our website. W